Hello everybody, this is a tutorial on how to program the distance formula into your calculator. So to start we're going to create the program by going to PRGM and going over to new and naming it distance because that's, uh, that's really only logical. Press enter and here we are. So the first thing I like to do starting off the program is to clear the home screen so there's no other clutter there making it confusing. So press the PRGM, go to I slash O, scroll down to 8, CLR home, clear the home screen, enter. So now we have to enter in all of the variables of the distance formula. And there are four as you can see, x1, y1, x2, and y2. So to do that, we are going to press PRGM, go over to I slash O, and press input. Now the input command has two arguments, the first one a text string, and the second one a variable, and the variable where the data will be stored. So s to start off the text string, uh, open up some quotation marks, and type in x1, because that will be our first variable, and equals second math, find the equal sign, and then another space, and the space key is over the zero if you didn't know that, and then close per uh, quotation marks, and uh, then press the comma key to enter in the next argument, which will be the variable on where this will be stored, and that will be A, since we can't do subscripts for x1, y, and x2. So now repeat this process for the other three variables, x2, y1, and y2, and name them appropriate. And as you can see, I have named my uh, next variables b, c, and d. Alright, so the next thing we have to do is to do the calculation of the distance formula and then display it on the screen. And I'm going to do that all in one line, just to uh, keep it concise. So let's do that. So the command we're going to need is the display command, which can be found under PRGM. Going over to I slash O and 3, display, enter. And this also has two arguments, similar to input. The first one a text string, and the second one a variable. So the text string we want to display is uh, distance, because that's what we're going to display next. So open, a up, open up some quotations, and then type in distance, uh, and then equals, close the quotations, and then a comma for the next argument, which will be the equation. So the start of the equation is the radical sign, which can be found above the x squared key. So we press second x squared. And notice the opening quotation mark, that, I mean uh, parenthesis. That will be important, because if we don't close that, the uh, program won't run correctly. So first part of the equation, or the next part of the equation, is the x1 minus x2 part. So let's open up some more uh, parentheses. Not a parenthesis. And x1. Now we store the x1 variable as a. Subtract that from x2, which we stored as c, not b, but c. And then we square that. And then we add it to the difference of the y's, which was open up some new parentheses. Y1, which we stored as b, and y2, which we stored as d close the parentheses and square it. And don't forget to close the final set of parentheses for the radical. And there we have that line. So next thing, last thing is just to clean it up. I like to pause the program before it exits and terminates so that uh, just doesn't run away from us. So PRGM go down to 8, pause, enter, and to stop it, you don't really need this, but uh, F, stop. And that is all the program. So, to get out, 
press second mode to quit and to run execute the program press PRGM and you'll see the new program right there press enter then enter again and uh, let's enter in some points to test this out so uh, let's go with uh, let's see uh, three four and zero eight and look at that it's five amazing how that worked out isn't it must be a three four five triangle right there alright so then to uh, get out of the program just press enter since right now it is paused and there should be say done so thanks for watching if you uh, have any comments or suggestions please feel free to uh, leave me something leave me a message and uh, give me a thumbs up thanks for watching